Hello everyone and welcome to this new sandbox mini series in which we are going to create a Dutch petting zoo and as you probably already saw in the intro I won't be doing this alone no I will be joined by the one and only creator of the palace zoo and the winner of the winter sanctuary competition <laughs> Jure. Hey hello <laughs> yeah, that was a nice intro right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna add that into my name now. Winner of the Winter Sanctuary competition <laughs> three months ago. Yeah, it's, no. a new, it's a new, it's a new title. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, yeah. This I was actually at the ID we had around two months ago, probably, and um, we finally started on it. I think you came up with the ID itself. Um, I guess. Yeah could be it's, it's been a while <laughs> yeah. we're finally starting on it so yeah 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 yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. i think we talked about this like uh, two months yeah. ago and uh, you came up with this idea to create a, a petting zoo and uh, it will be based in the netherlands and uh, actually we had the idea of not really recreating uh, louvestein it's uh, it's a castle i think i'm not sure how you call it in english fortress yeah. i guess a fortress <laughs> yeah that's a beautiful name for it uh, but uh, yeah, today we start with the entrance building and basically the area around it. We will have a uh, yeah, more or less a wall around the, the castle, around the fortress. And uh, this will also be the entrance to the petting zoo. And um, yeah, what I'm doing right now is basically uh, starting with this wall. And um, I changed the colors, I think, like five times. I'm not sure how you normally do this, uh, Jura, but... Uh, not like it, no, it's pretty much similar. <laughs> no, <laughs> I might just mess around and see what yeah. looks good. I, I, I use a lot of reference images. That's that's basically the key of doing something. Mm -hmm. uh, then that's the... Uh, that motivates me a lot to have a thing to copy it. <laughs> and then, then I can give my own twist to it usually. Yeah, yeah. But what I saw in... The, I, I used Google Maps quite a lot on uh, for this one. And... Um, yeah, actually what I did, I, I took some screenshots from it and I just started uh, yeah, trying to get the right color codes for these walls and then in the end I didn't use it and uh, <laughs> I changed it again. Um, but yeah, this is basically the only brick wall which you can uh, yeah, change the color from. So mm -hmm. that's why I used uh, this one. Uh, there were some nice uh, thingies in this uh, wall with the different colors and I also wanted to recreate that one. and. Um, yeah, it's not a complete recreation uh, of the entire area because yeah, the entire area was a, a little bit boring while I was building it. So I, I used a little bit more uh, more foliage and uh, stuff like that. Uh, right now, the um, I'm putting a, a, a door in uh, because the zoo is still closed. Uh, there's no guest spawner, oh, so okay. I uh, left that Fair one <laughs> up to you. Um, you can also see, like in in the end of the video, I finally put in the uh, uh, what do you call it. The, uh, the the actual entrance itself. Okay, yeah, yeah. It looks uh, really good though. Like all the details already on the wall, the little figures on it, the, the squares. The yeah, squares, I think uh, like. yeah, I think the um, the video stopped uh, for a bit, like in a few seconds ago. My game crashed over here as well, uh, so oh. I had to uh, do all the details uh, twice. Uh, <laughs> 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 Well, that was okay. Yeah, I, I I knew how to do it. Yeah, I okay. think there was also like a, a switching color in uh, in a few seconds <laughs> as right. well, which right. I didn't record. But yeah. yeah, there were a few details, and I really had no clue how to how to do. Oh, yeah, see, there's a there's a change of colors in the oh, dark, in the yeah. wall. Yeah, but uh, yeah, basically this episode is a lot of uh, terrain work as well. So you will have uh, these uh, things that will. Uh, yeah, make sure that the water doesn't uh, enter the fortress itself. Uh, I think that's a typical uh, Dutch uh, thing. Um, uh, the, it looks realistic already, dude. Like <laughs> <laughs> already, Damn. yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, also these uh, little concrete things. Um, I think these probably are added afterwards. So I think this building was built in like 1300s or something like that. Um, yeah, I did a little bit of research, especially for. <laughs> Oh yeah, one. probably uh, should do that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the next episode, you should uh, uh, explain the entire history of uh, Louvestein, uh, yeah. probably. Yeah. But we're basing this off like a like a real a real fortress in in uh, the Netherlands. Uh, it's called uh, Slot Louvestein. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty old. 
<laughs> it's <laughs> and uh, that yeah uh, i guess you just have to look it up maybe i'll post uh, or maybe you can post it how to spell it <laughs> spell it in the co comments so people can check it out and see mm -hmm. what kind of thing we're roughly going for but the thing the fun thing is we're like gonna build a petting zoo around it so there's this monumental castle uh, which, which people can visit and then there's a petting zoo because people are there anyway and they can make a bit of extra money or something yeah uh, exactly and something we, like that right yeah we thought that the uh, the area around it was basically perfect for like uh, a petting zoo mm -hmm. or uh, something like that not a full zoo so this won't be a uh, like a 20 episode series or something that's one thing uh, we, we we both didn't yeah. want to do um so it will be a, a shorter one and uh, we don't uh, did we have an idea about the animals that we wanted to put in uh yeah, of course the llama will uh, will be in here. I think that llama. was uh, that was one of the uh, triggers that we finally started <laughs> on this project. <laughs> doll uh, sheep, doll sheep. Yeah, the doll sheep will be uh, in here. Um, um would, I think we decided to put the uh, warthogs in here as well. Oh, uh, and the ostriches. Ostrich, yeah. See, Maybe some reindeer. <laughs> all the well, all the uh, all the petting zoo animals, the classic ones. Yeah. We don't have any horses or something, so we have to be no, creative. No, yeah. yeah, true. I kind of yeah. hope they add ducks or something that f uh, sit around in the water. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that yeah, that nice would stuff. be perfect. Yeah, they fit in. Um, so yeah, this uh, this little wall thing, it's actually completely in uh, inside the terrain work. So I tried to recreate that and um, yeah, I thought it looked weird uh, because the terrain would like... Uh, how should I call it? You can still see the terrain through the walls and that's uh, why I finally... Uh, yeah finally decided to just put a wooden floor in here and uh, make it look uh, yeah like it's accessible for the guests i won't put any paths in um, because then you get this like concrete thing below the path and it look weird yeah. so it's, yeah the guests it's, won't use it anyway so uh, i decided it is a problem to... i uh, sorry yeah you have to go ahead i, I it's uh, it's it's a problem i call uh, like continuously uh, running into the thickness of the path when i'm building a two-story building <laughs> yeah or yeah. what we, we said in the in the blueprint series i did earlier like it's so hard to build a small condensed path or mm -hmm. building when you actually want people to be in there so uh, interior work is really a challenge in this game uh, yeah, especially yeah. when you have like two floors or something. When when it's on the ground floor, when it's directly on the terrain, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, when once it's elevated, <laughs> you will have a problem. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I also decided to put uh, some fencing over here. Um, if you look up to, uh, if you use a Google Street View, you can actually see there is some kind of fence over there as well. Um, so I think it is accessible for guests, uh, but you can't really see it. Uh, from uh, from the images and we actually wanted to visit this place before we, uh, we started this uh, project but then uh, yeah, something, yeah, happened. <laughs> something happened that uh, <laughs> everything is closed now so we can't yeah. uh, can't visit it right so uh, we have to yeah. use our imagination a little bit more but that's uh, yeah that's why we play this game right yeah <laughs> I really like the looks of it already. It's really like, it's, uh, well, it's exactly what I was thinking about. Like, it did really well with the, all the details already. Yeah, I'm and looking uh, forward to the yeah. castle itself. Uh, yeah. yeah, me, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the biggest challenge, so I decided, yeah, I will go first. I will do the terrain work uh, around it. And um, I actually wanted to do the entire map, but I didn't want um, yeah, to determine the size of the building for you. So I decided to just uh, do the terrain work around the, the area and the uh, and the entrance mm -hmm. because I have no clue how big you uh, you will make the castle. Uh, it's, prob it's probably not going to be too big. I'm just worried about the colors of the brick and stuff yeah. like that. Because yeah, that was the most so challenging <laughs> thing over here. So um, yeah, if you find something a little bit better than what I used here, um, yeah, just make mm -hmm. sure you change everything. <laughs> I might be able to use the temple pieces of the, the, the South American pack. Yeah, but it, um, yeah, I, I thought about that one as well, but it's not really brick, and that's yeah, that's a bit was, too that big. was the look that we're uh, that we were going for. Yeah, it's very s stately and it's very well looked after. So the temple pieces, I don't know how well they would work. I like the terrain work you did here, by the way, because I hate doing terrain work. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of hard. terrain work. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I did well on that. 
Yeah, I, I think want horses, in, man. Yeah, we need horses or something like that. Or like, yeah, normal sheep or something. I actually wanted to put the dull sheep outside of the uh, outside of the area, but uh, yeah, I, we probably got like 100 messages that they were not able to feed them or something. So, oh, really? yeah, maybe uh, yeah. Uh, maybe later, but yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, I think in a few minutes I will start on the uh, the other areas as well. And uh, normally on the right, right here, you will actually have some. Yeah, typical Dutch buildings as well, some houses that probably people live there, uh, but I didn't make it. <laughs> I will uh, leave that for uh, another episode. Mm -hmm. um, I'm st actually starting on the uh, big river right now. So there's uh, the river called the Waal, which is right next to uh, to this area, right next to Louvestein. So I thought it would be nice to uh, to put that one in as well. Mm -hmm. um, you can already see I started this zoo on a really strange spot, <laughs> right, right, uh, on the left side of the map. I have no clue why, but uh, yeah, why not? Oh my god, how yeah. am I supposed to fix it now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, it, it, I actually put a lot of like small details in the terrain work, as you can see. Uh, oh, nice, lower yeah. this one a little bit, and then towards the water, it will be a little bit smoother. Um, so what I'm doing right now, it's the most important thing in the Netherlands. Um, <laughs> so I'm creating a parking uh, space for your bicycles. Uh, yep. Because I think uh, most of the people will uh, will come in by bike, of course. Uh, but I will also add a normal parking space as well. I really uh, like these pieces, by the way. They really look cool. And you can yeah. change all the colors. I was just about to say, I'm so glad that they added bikes. Especially those bikes into the game that's like... <laughs> Very uh, typical uh, for a place like this. Like all the old people go here. <laughs> uh, young young people too. Don't get me wrong, but it's a very uh, it's a very uh, retired thing to like to like cycle around and uh, read, right. Well, I guess everyone does it. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can already imagine old people uh, riding their electrical bikes uh, around here. So yeah, that's a, a typical uh, Dutch thing. They made it easy for us. If you throw some some bicycles down, it already looks Dutch. So that's uh, yeah. That's and everyone, amazing. everything is flat in the Netherlands, so it's also uh, <laughs> yeah. pretty. Uh, <laughs> now I can easy. brag about my terrain work, but yeah, it's uh, everything is flat. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that, uh, then much, the details are even more important. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually thinking like making um, how do you say like a little uh, Sunday market where they. Uh, where the where people can sell their stuff because uh, mm -hmm. I um uh, I went to this um, this uh, castle uh, when I was younger. I played in a little youth orchestra, and we would play there. And there was like events going on, a marketplace, and uh, even some jousting of knights. And um, I think we could really uh, make uh, some really cool ambience uh, setups here, or, like little little marketplace or. A little terrace um, where you can sit down, get a drink, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm really forward, looking forward to how we're all gonna tackle that stuff. Yeah, so that's basically the area that will, um, yeah, that will be right after the entrance, right? So you will have mm -hmm. these uh, these Dutch houses and uh, stuff like that. Um, this is also a little detail I added. I saw there was like a, a boat ride to the other side of the river as well. There's another castle over there. Uh, so I thought it would be cool to have the uh, actual pier, or how do you call it? Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I guess. I, I think uh, that's a beautiful pronunciation for, for that word. But uh, <laughs> yeah, the guests can enter the boat here and uh, go to the other side, to the other castle as well. Is it like a ferry or like a Yeah, it's a ferry, one? yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. But I think people can only enter it with their bicycles and uh, not really with the cars or anything. Oh uh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So, so there's uh, another castle there? Yeah, there's another one. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got more work to do now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can put, you can copy paste it. It looks really similar. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's just as big, really. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so oh, yeah, also it goes down here. That's cool. Yeah, I build it and then I put the water in it, <laughs> and it looked a little bit weird. So um, yeah, this is uh, a much better already. Uh, another small detail. I'm not sure why people have these things but you will always have these uh, wooden things with the with the white oh, tops. Oh yeah. Do you have any clue why? You Maybe see them you see them all to over signal the place. ships that yeah. there's a pier there because while well, when you you know I don't know a freight ship or something you might not be able to see that low into the water yeah, or maybe. something. 
I don't know actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna search, look that up. Uh, <laughs> Do some research. Yeah. <laughs> Do some research. And we will come back to that in the uh, in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the the parking lot itself. Uh, I tried not to use like these white uh, art shapes. I wanted to make it look like uh, they used uh, a different color of brick for these uh, for these things. Oh yeah. And I didn't use any fences around it, but I only used like these concrete bumps in the end so you can't you you won't be able to drive uh, into the into the uh, into nature uh, for oh, dude, i'm getting i'm getting ptsd from all the trees you place like my frame rate <laughs> nah, it's not too bad in planet 2 luckily but if you did land planet coasters like oh oh you know <laughs> yeah oh yeah i didn't play a lot of planet coasters so uh, i don't yeah, know yeah, about the fine. problems in there so yeah these are the the little bumps i was talking about so you yeah. To make it look a little bit more realistic, I wanted to, uh, yeah. Basically, if you've seen my videos, uh, the things I build are not really realistic all the time. So I really wanted to challenge myself to uh, to look it's a nice little challenge. bit more in the, into the details, like uh, lighting and uh, stuff like that. Uh, oh were, yeah, we need to light it in the in the dark too with the castle and light. Oh, yeah, we nice. have to do that. I. I I actually only put like uh, a few lights uh, down, so with the parking slot and uh, uh, yeah, along the the road as well. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, I can't wait to do that. Like lighting in uh, lighting on castles is so looks so uh, ominous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm actually also putting down some uh, <laughs> some actual Dutch traffic signs. Oh wow. uh, Which were made by. Uh, Thing. Chief Nadia, yeah, she made uh, these things, and that's also typical Dutch that you can't speed, so you can only drive 50 <laughs> here, and if you drive 55, you will get a ticket uh, <laughs> sent to your home. So uh, I thought that would make it a little bit more uh, realistic. Uh, <laughs> that finishes the build already. We're done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, speed limits, not my thing. So um, yeah, I'm expanding the uh, the building a little bit uh, because I thought it looked. Uh, yeah, too uh, unfinished. Uh, again, struggling with that the same terrain work. You can see it's sticking out on all the sides. So uh, yeah, you could try with the square terrain stuff, but then it's still a bit tricky. Yeah, I always like to go uh, freestyling, but yeah, that's uh, that shape thing might uh, help a little bit. I actually like these trees a lot. Um, I think that's also typical Dutch that the the trees are like exactly in the same line. Are those the ash trees? I'm not sure which one. I, I look, thought they looked cool, so I'm yeah. <laughs> I have no clue which which one I used. And uh, that's also a thing I wanted to change uh, about my builds. I always use these filters, like if I'm building in a European uh, biome or something, I can only use the European trees. But I just threw down everything that I thought would look good in here. I also using uh, some flowers as well, um, these ad elephant grass, just to make it look uh, a little bit more like dense grass or really high grass yeah um because yet yeah, we have the terrain tool we have the uh the paint of course the long grass but it uh, somehow it, it didn't look right so yeah the elephant grass is really great for like artificially making tall grass yeah exactly so uh, that's why i uh, use that one a lot um using the barriers i, I tried different things uh to use these fences and but in the end, these barriers looked uh, perfect for this one. You can actually change the color of them. I didn't even know that. Oh, really? Yeah. So I it didn't looks. Either. <laughs> it, yeah, it really looks like um, yeah a normal fence that would normally be here uh, for sheep and stuff. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I'm finally putting in the uh, the entrance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're guests can oh, enter yeah. now. Um, and uh, to uh, oh the flagpole. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's a a perfect thing. I also saw that one on the picture uh, and some small details with these uh, ropes. I really like these pieces, by the way, um, from the South America pack, these uh, rope things. Mm -hmm. it Very really, nice. Really perfect. Um, so, yeah, I think that's almost it, isn't it? Yeah. Boy, it yeah. looks so good, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> it already it looks so, well, I guess, Dutch or like... Uh, Western, well, where we live, basically, it yeah. looks so recognizable. I hope people will uh, will recognize themselves. I think a lot of Dutch people uh, are uh, 
watching our videos. So <laughs> I really hope yeah. they, uh, they actually. <laughs> I mean, we're it. Finnish ourselves, right? So it's a bit. No I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, see how good that looks. All right. So with that, I really want to thank everyone for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And the next episode will be on Yuri, his channel, of course. So make sure you also subscribe to his channel. Um, I will yeah. put a link down in the description, of course. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.